What's going on guys, Enzo here coming to you with another video and welcome to my cigar lounge. So today we're going to be actually checking out another cigar, obviously that's what the series is called, Angelo Cigar Lounge. Thank you for joining me for this third video, this is my third cigar I'm ever smoking. Uh, obviously if you haven't checked out the first time I smoked a cigar, a lot of people have seen that video now. I'll leave it in the link description below and I'll leave even the second one also because it's kind of cool just to see me progressing and doing better every time. We're actually going to be using the V cutter today and the cigar we're going to be smoking, I kind of wanted to keep it warm because it's still in the wrapper. Uh, I got it from cigar realm in ashland uh, the guy who helped me once again is bill this is the my father's connecticut that's the full name of it uh it, it looks really nice but apparently they even have better wrappers so i'll go ahead and give you all a close-up really quick and i'll come back with you guys in just a second Now this is one of their lighter cigars and just to let you all know before we get fully into the video I am on kind of like a, not a main road but I'm in a subdivision so if you hear cars go by that's what that noise is or if they're like leaves or when it's rolling. I do have like a microphone and everything hooked up so it should be a little bit better. This is one of their mild cigars. Uh, this one is really lighter uh, than the one that I had uh, previously which was like the Don Carlos. That one was, I really like the flavors in that one, uh, but I, I, this one is definitely gonna be lighter. And I kinda like the creamy textures to this, but the notes in this one are gonna be, you have some earthiness, uh, creamy, nutty, and it has some light pepper notes on there, as well as some cedar. And I think it even has a little bit of oak in here. From what I've heard, it also has a few citrus notes uh, when you get deeper into it, or like the second, third, and whatnot. Price for this runs around like eight to nine dollars. It's not too expensive. It's a nice price cigar, but like I said, let's go ahead and unravel this thing and get right into it. This one feels like it's packed a little more tight though, for sure. And I'm kind of glad that I'm smoking it now because I didn't want to wait too long uh, to actually smoke this because it is in the wrapper and I don't have a humidor yet. So the goal is to get a humidor really soon. This looks very nice. Uh, the stickers are really nice on this one. I already gave you all a close-up, but I'll give you like another one while I'm talking or something. It's really crazy to me that these are handmade. Like it blows my mind the amount of work they have to put in to get these layers of just tobacco rolled and rolled and rolled. That's crazy. Try to get this thing cut and lit and uh, get right into it. Now it is kind of chilly outside. Uh, it's about probably 45 degrees. So it is chilly in Virginia right now. On top of that, uh, there is a little bit of wind and I'm doing this around like 2.30. It's about 2.45 now, so yeah. Now, I, I didn't know that uh, they add these things at the bottom here. This is the first time for it being at the bottom, so that's new to me. But yeah, I like the extra touches to these cigars though. So we'll go ahead, get it cut. Let's try the V cutter now. So I'm not used to the V cutter. I'm a little nervous on using this, but hopefully I don't mess this up. All right, guys, so here we go. I don't know, should we do the V-cut? Yeah, we're gonna do the V-cut. I don't know, maybe the cigar is not meant, maybe this one needs to be a better V-cut. So we'll go ahead and just use the guillotine because I don't want to mess up the cigar's taste or anything. And I don't want to have those flakes of like tobacco just in my mouth like that. Okay. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I didn't try to take too much off this time. I definitely try to stay on top of it. Uh, it definitely burst. <laughs> I gotta get a better cutter for sure so we'll work on that uh, definitely now again the, another thing you guys told me from the last video is to kind of toast it this time we're gonna try that problem was the lighter wasn't working too well uh, in the last video because of how chilly it was so what I did was leave it in my pocket basically so I could keep like the thing warm I'll go ahead and even take my glasses off so you guys can kind of see a better reaction kind of just warms up yeah, it's weird. I don't know if it's the wind. So it is. It's the wind. It's not that it's cold outside. It's the wind. So I have to do this in... Yeah, it's the wind, guys. Dang, that sucks. So it's. I might not be able to show you guys like me lighting this then because I need to do it where it's not windy outside. So hopefully... like. So we're going to work on that. So the next thing that I'll do is get a lot better lighter and a better cutter. That's a key thing for when you're smoking cigars so you get a good coal and a nice cut because you wanna be able to taste it right. So we'll work on that. Uh, I won't be able to kinda show you guys that I'm toasting it and whatnot, but I am gonna do that for this one. Uh, I'll be with you on just a second. So I was able to get it lit. It took forever. Uh, I did use this, it did work eventually, but 
like I said, I didn't want y'all to see me struggle like that on the camera. But overall, let me go ahead and give it a little bit of taste really quick. Very creamy. Really creamy. I definitely get those pepper notes for sure. I'll come back to you guys in just a little bit. Uh, I'll definitely get you all some slow-mo footage because I know you guys like seeing that. I'll talk to you all in a little bit. Alright, so it's definitely getting cold now, just in like this first part of it. Uh, it's really nice. It's very light. It feels lighter than like the uh, the first, uh, the Davidoff that I had, the like Grand Cru. Uh, that one had a little bit more flavor to this one. Uh, nothing's really changing yet, but right now, it's a nice flavor. It's burning well though. Yeah, I definitely get like woody flavors for sure. That would be like obviously the cedar. Overall, I do like that uh, Don Carlos one that I had in the other video. I do like that one a lot. But this one's good though, so yeah. So one thing that I do want to talk about, it is uh, inauguration day today, February 20, I'm sorry, January 20th, 2021. Like I said, it's like it's about like 3.15 now. You know, it's always interesting to see what each president does, but hey, it's history and hey, we just gotta live through it. So I'm just gonna say that. I don't really wanna get into politics on the channel. We kind of leave that for someone else to talk about. So I'm not really celebrating that or anything. But I'm mainly just, I got off early. Uh, I wanted to burn, I wanted to be able to like smoke this before. Uh, Cause I, this is like the only day I really have off right now. And yeah, I'm getting kind of paid for this day off. So I got off early from work. I figured, hey, I got some daylight. Let me just go ahead and smoke the cigar now. So yeah. Okay guys, so we're a little bit further now. Almost in like the second part of it. Uh, it's very nutty. Definitely still gives that pepper vibe. I still get that pepper for sure. Uh, it's not bad though. It's not bad pepper. It's just, you can definitely tell there's pepper in there. It, it's not like my favorite out of the three. Uh, I would probably say, I actually kind of starting to like remember the taste of like that Don Carlos. The Arturo Fuente, Arturo Fuente, Don Carlos, Bellicoso, Cameroon. Long name, but I actually kind of like that richness. Uh, this one is creamy. I really want to try a Cuban cigar um, because that still gives you like the richness, but on top of that, you still get uh, the creaminess. And I know you can get that with a lot of cigars, but I wouldn't say like this, out of all the ones that I've had, I think I would say that this is probably like number three. And then I'd say, I think the Davidoff is still number one, but the Arturo Fuente is really good as well. So, like I said, I'll leave both those links in the description box below. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. It also helps the YouTube algorithm to know what needs to be seen. I want to try, like, all those $20 cigars. And I know there's amazing cigars without having to spend, like, that crazy price tag. I want to see what's the reason. Is it really worth that $20 that you spend? And a lot of people seem to say that it is. So I'm interested to see what they think. I'll talk to you guys once I get closer to like the final third of this. And uh, we'll wrap up the video there. Now, uh, you guys didn't say how uh, little, it, it is a little more complicated. You got to make sure you take the sticker off beforehand. Uh, I didn't know that we were supposed to take the sticker off. Uh, I was watching videos and I was like, wait, the sticker's off now. In the other video, I didn't smoke uh, the sticker. I just had like stopped like right there. This is overall a nice cigar. I don't think... I would really get this one again it's just not really my preference but it's not bad uh, this is one to definitely start off with though I guess if you're just starting cigars or something like that please stay tuned guys uh, I'm gonna conclude this video now I don't want to make it too long today if you did enjoy the video I really love to have you join the O squad and just click that subscribe button we'd love to have you on the team uh, let me know how I did in this video like I said the one thing that I feel like I messed up the most on was the cut uh, I got to work on the cut and I think I got to get a better cutter as well as a better lighter because obviously watch this. It's not going to light right now. See, it's just 
it, it works great indoors so <laughs> it's like if you're smoking inside you're fine but and this is a triple flame lighter it's just it doesn't work in wind so i'll get try to get one that's more wind resistant hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and until next time peace out